This video demonstrates different motion planners available in Moveit and introduces the concept of motion planning adapters. The tutorials for each of these motion planners and planning adapters are available in Moveit tutorials on the official site. So first we'll be showing different uh, motion planners in a simple environment without the presence of any obstacles. So we here connect to an initial database. We load the same set of queries for each of the motion planners and see qualitatively how the plans are obtained. So this is the plan obtained by OMPL. Now we load another query for OMPL and see how the motion plan is executed quali qualitatively. Now we move on to CHOMP. We connect to the database, load the exact same query and we want to see how the plan is obtained and qualitatively. So for the scene where there is no presence of any obstacles, all motion planners behave pretty good and there is no uh, difficulty and almost everybody produces good paths. So this case is where OMPL produces an initial guess for CHOMP and then CHOMP optimizes that guess. So this is being done using the concept of planning adapters available in Moveit and more information can be obtained from the planning adapter tutorials. So now we demonstrate how Stomp Planner produces paths. We load the exact same queries for each of the motion planners. So now we demonstrate Stomp being used as a preprocessor algorithm for CHOMP. So Stomp will produce an initial guess and CHOMP will optimize that. So the planning adapters concept is being introduced to use multiple motion planners in a pipeline. Here we show the usage of STOMP planning adapter. So here OMPL will produce an initial path and then STOMP will use that path to produce another refined trajectory. Now we demonstrate CHOMP being used as a preprocess of a STOMP. So here also we would see that the path is very similar to as obtained in the previous four cases because the, uh, there is no obstacle present in the scene. So here STOMP is basically acting as a post processor for CHOMP. So now we move on to demonstrating motion planners being used with obstacles. So first we'll demonstrate OMPL being used with a single obstacle in the scene and see how it performs. Again the query remains the same for each of the motion planners. So the path is pretty good for OMPL and it's obstacle collision free. Now we demonstrate how CHOMP behaves in the presence of obstacles. We load the scene, load the queries. So now CHOMP is basically trying to find the parameters which lead to a collision free path. So over here you can see the path is very jerky. So that is a trait of CHOMP which produces jerky paths. To overcome that uh, the concept of planning adapters tutorials can be used wherein OMPL will be producing an initial trajectory guess which can be further optimized by CHOMP and the jerky motion can be gotten rid of. Now we demonstrate stomp in the presence of one obstacle. So 
So now we demonstrate that stomp can be also used as a preprocessor algorithm for chomp. So here first stomp is run and then chomp is run. So chomp basically optimizes the initial guess for stomp. Now we demonstrate that chomp can also be used as a preprocessing algorithm for stomp using the concept of stomp smoothening planning adapter. So here chomp produces an initial path which is then used to initialize the stomp trajectory and then stomp being a smoother algorithm smoothens that path. Now we show that OMPL can also be used as a preprocessor algorithm for stomp. So first OMPL will produce a path and then stomp's job will be to smoothen that path. So this is the result of the two planners being used in a pipeline. Now we demonstrate motion planners being used in a more complex environment. So first we demonstrate OMPL being used with four obstacles. Same thing, we load the scene, load the queries and keep the same queries for each of the five different motion planning uh, scenarios. So here OMPL produces collision free smooth paths. Now for chomp we demonstrate the same thing. So as you can see chomp takes uh, some a little bit more time to produce the path than OMPL and the path is jerky it's not smooth. So there's another more complex query. And again chomp takes more time to produce the path than OMPL. So this motion is also jerky. So chomp in general produces jerky motions in the presence of obstacles. To overcome that we use OMPL to produce an initial guess for chomp and then chomp further optimizes that path. So we load the same set of queries. And here we can see that the jerky motion is gotten rid of and the path is very smooth. Now for the second query also we will we see that the path is not jerky and the motion is smooth. Now we demonstrate stomp. So first we load the scene, load the query. So stomp by itself produces pretty good paths which are obstacle free or collision free. So now we will be demonstrating the use of stomp and chomp in a pipeline. So stomp produces an initial guess and then chomp will be optimizing that trajectory to produce an optimized path. So here you can see unlike a standalone version of chomp, this path is not jerky, it's smooth and it does not take too much time to compute because already it has a good initial guess obtained from stomp. So now we will use OMPL as a preprocessing algorithm for STOMP using STOMP planning request adapters. So here OMPL will be producing an initial path and then STOMP will smoothen that path. So this path is, the path produced by this algorithm is better than using either of the motion planners alone for the case that we show here. Now we will use CHOMP as an initial algorithm which will produce an initial initial trajectory for STOMP. So as you can see CHOMP will produce an initial guess and then STOMP will smoothen the path. So this path is still a bit jerky but it's better than what CHOMP would have done on its own. And if you have a simpler query the path produced will be much smoother than using CHOMP alone. Now we will be introducing the concept of benchmarking different tutorials. So there's a tutorial page on this uh, which you can follow the steps and do the exact same things that I am doing in the video. Over here you specify what path you want to have the log file at, what is the name of your scene, what is the query name, 
all this information is available in the benchmarking tutorials so once your execution of this benchmarking uh, completes it will be generating a log file then you can run a python script which creates a database file and you can upload that database file in the planner arena.org website once you upload the database file you can view different parameters for each of the motion planners so over here it shows the time then we show the solved status if the motion plan was obtained or not then we show another parameter and finally I would like to conclude by thanking the people.